The function of the upper trapezius uh, during shoulder girdle movements can be assessed by asking someone to raise their arm up from the side. What you're looking for is the relationship between uh, the movement of the scapula on the thorax and the movement between the arm and the scapula, so-called scapula humeral rhythm. So if Leona is going to demonstrate an ideal pattern, you can see at about 70 degrees or so, her scapula starts rotating. Come on back down again. So the movement, you go again. The movement is initially glenohumeral, then the scapula starts contributing about 60 or 70 degrees. See how the shoulder hasn't risen at all. It's a yogically informed body. Um, what you're going to find in practice, either when someone has a stiff glenohumeral joint and or an overactive upper trapezius, is going to be more like this. That, um, okay, come on back again. <laughs> There's going to be independent movement glenohumerally to about here or so, and then the scapula is being drawn and the out and the shoulder is rising. And probably the arm will not get quite as high either. So this is because the upper trapezius is overactive. It might be overactive because we're too stiff here, or it might just be overactive due to other factors. But it's overactive, and we're going to want to treat that.